Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine, like an updated one, because I don't actually think I've done one of these in a while. I don't really know when the last time I did one of these was, but um, yeah, I've changed a lot of my kind of favorite products recently, and I thought I would show you how I get my everyday sort of look. I'm also gonna be showing you the brushes that I use every single day as well. Remember, if you guys do like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and um, yeah. Let's just get into the video. Please excuse my hair for the moment. I've just washed it and I'm just letting it dry a bit more. I will sort it out after I've done my makeup. So before I put on my foundation, every single day, I just thought I'd include like a tiny bit of skincare in here. I use the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Facial Sun Protection, SPF 50. And you might think that it's a little bit crazy to wear SPF 50 on a daily basis, but I'm trying to prevent myself from getting wrinkles, so. I'm gonna wear this every day. But then because that's a little bit oily, um, to make my face a bit more kind of tacky and prep it for foundation, I will use like a mixture of different things. I will either use the Soap and Glory Speed Plump or I'll use um, the Mabel and Meg um, Serum, which is quite expensive. Or what I use today is the Body Shop Tea Tree anti Perfection Daily Solution. And all of those have got glycerin in them, so it just makes your face a little bit tacky. I really feel like I have a cold coming on, you know when you can like feel it in the back of your throat. Then for my brushes today, I'm using this brush set which is by Iconic London. This portion of the video is sponsored by Iconic London which is lovely because I love their brushes. Um, I've been using their original set, they've got a face set and an eye set and I think I discovered those about maybe like six months ago and I've mentioned them in loads of videos, you guys have seen them. Those two sets are some of my favourite brushes ever but now they have made a set which is called the Blogger's Choice set and it pretty much combines all of my favourite brushes from the original face set and the eyes set into one. So they do come in this makeup bag which you could use to store the brushes or put makeup in, whatever you fancy. So these are what the brushes look like. I think there are 12 of them. And like I said, I've used and loved these brushes for ages now and this set is a nice shiny new one. Can we just uh, appreciate the, the difference between my original buffing brush and uh, the shiny new one? I know they're a different like colour scheme but like I need to wash my brushes. So the first one is a big fluffy powder brush. These are, oh my God, these are so soft. Mine again is super dirty, so I'm quite happy that I have a brand spanking new clean one. We then have the face buffing brush, which I just showed, and this is really good for applying your foundation. It's a very like dense little flat brush, so it really like kind of packs on your foundation and just like blends it out really nice. We then have the angled contour brush, and this is one of my favorite brushes from Iconic. This is so good for just like getting under those cheekbones. Oh, I've dropped one on the floor. I also use this brush for blush as well because it's a really nice shape for your cheekbones. We then have a little angled dense brush which you could use for foundation. You could use this for cream contour. There's then this little tapered brush that you could use for highlight. You could use it for blush. I often use this to set my under eyes as well. There's a big fluffy fan brush which again, you could use this for contour. Um, I've really been enjoying using fan brushes for contour recently. Or you could use this for highlight. There's then this flat top face brush. This is so good if you mess up your contour which I do quite a lot and you want to just like clean up underneath it and then there's also these eye brushes as you guys know I love the eyebrow brush so much because it is so skinny and I think I've mentioned this in a favorites video before we then have the fluffy eyeshadow blending brush which is one of my favorite blending brushes then this little smoky brush I love for putting eyeshadow on my outer corners and just blending through my crease um, for packing on like darker colors and also like kind of smoking under your eye and then the flat eyeshadow brush is a really good one for packing on your like shimmer eyeshadows. My one is currently blue and red. And then finally we have a little like eyeliner slash lip brush. So you pretty much have everything that you would need in a brush set to do your entire face in here. And I also find that these wash really well. I haven't had any issues with shedding or anything like that. I have about 5 million brushes but I always find that I come back to these ones just because they're really nice quality, they do the job exactly how you want them to do the job, and yeah, they're just really great. For my foundation recently, I have been loving the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. This, I think, is £12.50, you can get it from Boots, and I use the shade 1.0. What I really like about this is it's very kind of like yellow toned, and I find that it matches my neck quite well. It doesn't have full coverage, but what I absolutely love about this is by the end of the day, I just find that it wears so well. Um, and when my face gets oily, it doesn't like separate. It just looks like, I don't know how to explain it. My face just looks so good at the end of the day whenever I wear this. So I have been loving this recently for an everyday kind of 
foundation. It's definitely more of a medium coverage rather than full but I really like that because I find that it doesn't like settle into my smile lines as much. I'm just going to use the buffing brush to blend this in and oh my god I feel like <laughs> this brush is about to be dirty. I'm sorry. So I just kind of like to stipple it on first and then I'll do like circular motions. So you can probably see what I mean, that it doesn't have like full coverage because you can still see a bit of like blemish, a bit of blemish and redness underneath. But um, yeah, it just wears really nicely. This foundation is also cruelty free. For those of you that have been asking me for recommendations for a really good cruelty free foundation, I would highly recommend this one. I just think it evens out my skin really nicely without looking too heavy, like it still looks like skin if you get what I mean. And it does have a kind of dewy finish but of course I'm going to powder it. Then for concealer I'm still loving the Makeup Revolution one, I use a combination of the shades C1 and C2 just depending which one I pick up out of my makeup bag, they both work for me. Um, so I'm just going to use this under my eyes and also again on like any redness or blemishes. And I just really love this concealer. Like, it's got really good coverage. It's only four pounds. Um, they do it in 18 different shades. It's not an oily concealer. It's very good for oily skin. Oh, you know what I'm gonna use for this? I'm gonna use the angled one. Just to like blend it out a little bit. Okay, I don't know if this is what this brush is supposed to be used for, but it fits really nicely under my eyes. That actually went really well. I swear to God, it's great all day until I film and then the sun is just like, hello. So this is what my skin looks like. As you can see, it just looks really healthy. And I found in this combination just, I love it for every day. To set my face, I absolutely love the Revlon Photo Ready Powder. I have mine in the shade Fair slash Light. So I'm using um, that little tapered brush to just set my under eyes. And then I'm using the big fluffy powder brush to set the rest of my face. Okay, what is next? I'm pretty sure there's only two products in my everyday makeup routine that aren't drugstore and one of them is a lipstick and I change up my lipstick all the time but I'm just going to be using my favourite lipstick but the first thing that isn't drugstore that I've been using loads recently and I just thought I would use because I wanted to be completely honest with you guys and something that I've been loving is the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in the shade 3. It's got two different powders, so there's a lighter one and a darker one, and I just find that that is a genius idea. I'm gonna use my little eyebrow friend. They are tinted at the moment, so they don't need too much, but I'm just gonna neaten them up a bit. I'm sure I could probably find a drugstore alternative to this, but um, I've just been using it loads recently, so I thought I would just show you what I've been using and what I've been loving. Then to set my eyebrows in place, I'm using the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel, and I don't know, it's just a, you know, standard brow gel, but I've just been using this every day. Then for contour, I am going to use the little fan brush, and my favourite contour powder at the moment is this one here. This is by Bleach London, and it's called Contour Nuity in Bones 4, that's the shade name, um, and it's just such a good contour shade. It's not too pigmented, so you can like really dip your brush in there, and then it's just really nice and buildable. I have just been loving it for contour. It's just the perfect shade. And then I'm just gonna go back in with my face powder and I'm using that flat kind of angled brush and I'm just gonna dip into some of this and just go underneath there just to neaten it up a bit. Then my favourite everyday bronzer at the moment is this one by Kiko called the Full 2.0 Baked Bronzer in 01 Warm Melange and Melange, Melange. It looks like this, it's huge and I don't know if you can still get this, you might be able to get it in some stores but just Kiko bronzers in general, um, I would definitely recommend you trying them out. Um, they all smell like chocolate. And I just like to use this to warm up my face so I'm now going in with the angled brush and I'm just going to put this around my hairline and my temples. It is quite a warm bronzer, but I find that it blends so nicely, which is why I love it. Then for my highlighter, I'm taking my palette with Makeup Revolution, and my favorite everyday shade is this one down here, the kind of pink toned one. So I'm just taking some of this on the highlighter brush, which is gonna go ham. And then I'm just taking the fluffy eyeshadow brush and dipping into that same shade again. And I'm just gonna run this down my nose. Because, I don't know, I like to use a smaller brush to do my nose because my nose is smaller than my cheeks. You know what, to do the very end of my nose, I'm going to take the little smoky brush. Just very 
precisely place that there. And then I'm also using the pointed pencil brush to do my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. Then on an everyday basis, most days I don't really wear any eyeshadow, but recently I have been wearing like a tiny little bit and what I will do is I literally just take my palette with Makeup Revolution and I just take these two shades here or sometimes these two shades or these two shades, just this little corner and I'm just gonna take a couple of these on the fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna like run those through my crease to give my eyes a little bit of some, some. And this definitely makes me look a bit more awake when I'm running on five hours of sleep like today. So I just very roughly blend the shade Iced Coffee. And then I'm taking the shade Tiramisu, which is the one underneath. And again, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of this, but literally just the smallest amount, just to give my eyes a little bit of definition. And then I'm using the smaller pencil brush just to run some of that shade along my lower lash line. And then finally, I'm using the flat brush and I'm just gonna pick up, oh, what shade should I use? I think I'm gonna use a little bit of Sparks Fly, which is the gold color down here. And this brush is really good for shimmer eyeshadows. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this on my lid, just to give my eyes a little bit of life. So the only brush I didn't use is this little eyeliner brush, but that's because on a daily basis, I don't really tend to wear eyeliner, but if you do do eyeliner, um, then this one you can just use to do that. <laughs> Next step is mascara. Um, I have a whole range of mascaras that I use on a daily basis because I've literally got like 20 mascaras open. Um, but if you want to see my favourite mascaras, I do have a video on that. But the one I'm just trying to use up at the moment is the Kiko Into the Dark mascara. Um, but again, every Kiko mascara that I've tried has been really, really good. I do have some of their original ones, but I'm yet to try them. I just don't want to open them because I've got so many on the go at the moment, but... I'll get around to it eventually. This one is really, really clumpy and voluminous, but I kind of like that. I feel like my hair has just got bigger and bigger as this video has gone on. Then the final step to my makeup is my lipstick. And like I said, I do switch up my lipstick all the time, but just in terms of my everyday favorite lipstick that I always just wear whenever I don't know what to wear. Um, it is Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. I'm actually nearly out of this, which kind of shows how much I wear it. So that is all of the makeup done. I'm just gonna go sort out my hair and then I'll be right back. But this is the finished makeup look. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's just super simple, super, well, I was gonna say natural, but it's not exactly natural, is it? It's kind of like a my face, but better type of look. So that is it for my everyday makeup routine. I really hope you guys have found this helpful. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it so much if you would subscribe. I will link the iconic brush set down below and also all of the products that I used. I just love how they've combined like the eyes and the face set and put all of my favorite brushes into one complete thing. So that is it from me. Let me know your thoughts down below and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.